Look at this wicked monsoon. This thing's crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Wow, the wind is extreme. Yeah, there's no way the mic's not picking that up. It's a pretty strong gust. I bought a welder last year, or last year I should say, I got a welder for my birthday. And to be honest with you, I've done one small welding project with it, which was like a 10 minute weld on a friend's mini bike, and I haven't done anything else. I really haven't done any welding since 2016 when my buddy taught me to weld, and he's a pretty darn good welder. Not a master welder, but pretty close. And he taught me a lot, and we built a trailer and we also maintained the steel targets for competition at our gun range for about six years. So, but the last time I welded was 2016 and I probably only have about a total of eight hours of total welding under my belt. So today I'm going to tackle a project. I'll show you. Let me, uh, let me put this mic on me. Okay. So this piece of junk, spare tire mount was mounted on my trailer like this okay and it worked its way loose through vibration of course because of the way it's hanging off the trailer and it broke one of the one of the bolts I don't like where it's mounted it, it puts the hit the spare tire hanging way off the side of the trailer so and there's Scotty I'm gonna do a little welding repair on his bucket and so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take this angle iron this is eighth inch I'm gonna put a piece of it right here in the middle and I'm gonna weld it up a lot better than what they did even with the trailer. And then I'm gonna mount the spare tire there. And if that's not enough later, I'll add in one more piece going across. In fact, you know what? I might even just do that now, just add an extra structural piece just to keep that thing from wanting to twist. Yeah, you know what? I am gonna do that. So anyway, all right. Also, we'll see, I'm gonna basically do everything that my buddy taught me and use all the tricks I know to be able to do this in a, in a real high quality weld. So we'll see if I still got it. I'll judge you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Where's the crack on this thing right here? So, yeah, but here, let me lift it up and I'll show you. Watch yourself. Yeah. First we'll blow it out with the compressor. It just needs to, uh, oh yeah. We can fix that. just need to be re back. See how these things are broken here? So we just got to clamp them back and then smash that. And that's all. Oh, okay. I've kind of worn my cutting edge. It's there's barely anything left, but hey, almost 30 years of last. Yeah. So. Yeah. This. First, we'll fix this, and then bring that up in. Okay. We might have to grind a little bit right there. Yep. Just to clean it up. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So check this out. I got a 6,500 watt. So this is a. A lot of people call these noisy generators construction generators. This is the only one I've ever seen that is actually a true construction generator. Okay. You have one. 240 volt circuit for big tools and then look at you have two huge 20 amp circuits this is what you need on a construction site to run a whole bunch of tools at one time and all day long yeah <laughs> definitely yep but noisy i guarantee you is it electric start no that's even better because then you're not lugging around cheap, a dang cheap. battery oh it, this you know thing what? this thing's 400 pounds as it is yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, okay. Is well, it's, lo the, it's looking good. Is it making the line move? Uh, line yeah. Move? Is that a volume thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. That means we're picking up sound. Okay. I figured I'd get you a little while you're busy at work. Yeah, I've got a couple more spots. Oh, I so appreciate the heck out of this. So one thing about this group. Luckily, I've never welded this hot of a setting with this welder. <laughs> Honestly, I have little experience. It, I'm telling you what, it's doing great.
Yep, looking awesome. <laughs> what? Now you getting nervous on filming ya? No, not Mr. Ed. <laughs> We'll let them break, take a break. So we had to push it down like that to make the steel plate go back together. Yep. Looking awesome. All right, Ed got her all done. I want to say thank you, Ed, very much. It's loud. Check it out. We are. We are golden. Ready to do some tractor work. Right. Thank you so much, Ed. I so much appreciate it. Now it's time to get over and work on the racetrack. Do a little modify. Go catch you later. Actually, he's already ready to work on his car carrier, or his trailer. Okay. He's out. Onward with the, the spare tire project here with the winter. So like I said, it's been, uh, it's been two since 2016 since I've done any welding. I'm going to weld it on here like this and I'm probably going to weld an additional bar going across like this I actually don't have to I'll probably actually you know what I'm probably just gonna weld this I think this is gonna be enough to hold the spare tire mount but anyway that's where I'm at so I'm gonna get the metal cleaned up I'm gonna use the grinder and I'm gonna clean the metal up here and here and I'm gonna get it ready for the weld so I got the welding done here and I learned a valuable lesson. Trying to weld out in the bright sunshine doesn't always work very well. I have a decent welding helmet, but I just, I couldn't quite get it dark enough to where I could really truly see. And so I messed up on a couple of welds. They're not as clean as I would like them, but I did a little bit of cleanup. I'll show you my welds. I'll be honest and show them to you. One of them turned out absolutely perfect and uh, a couple of them are a little on the abysmal side. Um, you know, there's definitely, you know, using flux, there's a lot of dirty splatter um, you don't get with the MIG welding. So, um, you know, there's a little bit of that, but I took the grinder, I did just a smidge of cleanup, not much, but I'll show you what I got here. So this one right here, that's my best weld. That one came out really good. Got one tiny hole right there, but that, that's going to be fine. Um, I welded every single seam though up underneath here. These ones came out real ugly. I just could not see. I tried putting a towel over my head and uh, it just, nothing would help. Um, these welds came out a little bit ugly. This one came out decent. This one came out good. I can live with that. I got, I got real good penetration on the welds. That's all that really matters. This one, I doubled up a little bit. And then this one I ground up and then I ground this one. Uh, this one didn't come out real pretty, but I did get good penetration on it. Um, you know, overall, this is just for an extra support. Um, you know, if I was really doing this to be fancy or if I was doing this as a paid job, I would grind these welds down and then I would touch them up if they needed to be. But that's going to be plenty strong enough. Now, I can mount my spare tire carrier on here just like that and then the tire sits right on there. And this time I'm going to drill right up here through the corner of all this angle iron where it's the strongest. Um, last time they just drilled this out right in the middle and I don't think that was enough. So, you know, live and learn and do better. So anyway, and it looks like, to be honest, it looks like what they had, this is quarter inch or it's actually three sixteenths and I'm using eighth inch. So what I'm using is just a little bit thinner, but it's gonna be plenty strong enough, especially if I go through up here. And that's why I added the support. This support is gonna add a lot of strength, side strength. And then I'm gonna paint all this black too. So I'm gonna drill the hole. I'm gonna 
paint it up and then drill the holes. Well, here it is. This is my finished product. It's all installed, welded, painted. Yes, I can see now that there's paint. You know, a couple of the welds are, they're not as pretty as I'd like them to be, but they are structurally plenty strong. All right, this is my finished product. So you can see, got the spare tire mount, mounted with an extra support. And that is where the spare tire is supposed to be.